Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Crypto Ginger here. Just wanted to bring you a quick update on what's happening with Litecoin and LightPay. Now, before we jump right into it, guys, I want to give you a quick overview of the market cap here. As you can see, guys, it is February 26, 2018, and we're sitting on a market cap of just over $449 billion. And looking at the graphs, guys, for at least the seven day, uh, you can see that within the last 24 hours, we've had money coming back into the entire market cap. So this is really good news for... Uh, uh, the entire market cap in general and also of course with Bitcoin because the Bitcoin dominance has gone back up here um, ever so slightly but it's definitely going back up now of course looking at our coins individually you can see that there is a slight bit of momentum driving back into most of our coins however uh, one in particular that was a big driving force earlier in the week uh, Litecoin has actually taken a small little bit of a hit there a small little bit of a pullback and I would imagine that that happens to be uh, dealing with uh, LightPay itself. Now, of course, going to LightPay's Twitter, and this is something I've shown you in a previous video, uh, Litecoin announced on February 12th that they are going to be doing infrastructure for the Litecoin uh, dealing with LightPay. And this is going to uh, be an implementation where you can take your Litecoin and transfer it to uh, fiat currency via a credit card or a debit card again using Litecoin and this is supposed to take place uh, or at least the infrastructure was supposed to take place on the 26th now of course I believe what took place here because of how vague this entire Twitter page is for LightPay there wasn't a lot of information other than comments and um, and of course maybe a couple things here and there on Reddit uh, outside of that, if you were to sign up through LightPay and just uh, establish your email so you can get updated, they alerted people via the email. And also, this was posted on Reddit, um, information pertaining to the registration for LightPay. Now, of course, you have to pay attention to this, guys, because this is for merchant payment processing, which only is implied and implemented for merchants and not customers. So this uh, this email coming out was basically stating that merchants, uh, to, you know, basically get ready um, for your, your pri payment processing account to be established around basically 9 p.m. Pacific time. So... Uh, I am currently in Mountain Standard Time in, in the United States. Uh, Pacific Time would basically be one hour behind me. So uh, it is roughly 9.30 my time here. If, and this video might uh, get to you guys a little bit later than that. And this is possibly something that will have already been implemented by the time you see this video. But regardless, uh, the news about this, guys, again, has to be understood that this is relative to merchants. It doesn't say anything about the customers yet. So uh, a good... Um, uh, something that was actually pointed out here in some of the comments, uh, which I felt was a, a good example as to why we should be expecting um, some stages with LightPay and customer involvement, is this right here. So someone asked, you know, you know, the registration is only open for merchants at 9 p.m. However, registration for regular people is delayed. Am I understanding this correctly? So someone posted here, it makes sense. As a business, merchant registration comes first. Then users, uh, sorry, issuing user cards uh, basically will come following that. So but, um, again, I can see these things taking place in stages where the merchants are getting themselves set up for the transfer process of Litecoin and fiat uh, currency. And once that's happened and established, then it will make it a lot more of an easier transition for customers once that implements as well. So that is... Uh, along the lines, some of my speculation regarding what I'm foreseeing happening here again, like uh, LightPay's Twitter page is very vague. Uh, there hasn't been a lot in the way of uh, information regarding this from uh, Charlie Lee, other than um, this right here. I want to go to Litecoin's page through Coin Market Cap because you can actually um, check out quite a bit of the social activity that's happening per coin when you visit uh, Coin Market Cap. So going here to social, and this right here is what I want to show you. So this is kind of the uh, main response that Charlie Lee has posted, and I'm bringing it through you through Reddit because again, there's a lot of 
uh, information here you guys can look at yourself to kind of get a general idea of what the public is thinking in regards to this situation. But someone asked uh, about light pay. I don't believe Visa is going to approve it. So nothing fancy on Monday. And of course, Charlie Lee responds. Light pay merchant processing doesn't need approval from Visa. And in my opinion, the merchant processing part of it is biz of its business is a much bigger deal than the debit card. So what I'm gathering from this right here is that the idea of even having a debit card for light pay is possibly something that is to the wayside. Um, it's, um, for lack of a better way of explaining it, it's kind of old-fashioned. Someone also posted in here that uh, everything is moving to the phone pay anyway, which is absolutely correct. People are using QR codes for just about everything. I did a video regarding people using QR codes for um, collecting money uh, as homeless people. So, um, you know, this is definitely part of the tech future and how things are moving. So, again, a lot of a lot of uh, FUD in regards to light pay, and I'm trying to extinguish that by saying, hey, we are working around stages here, so we need to make sure that we allow these stages to fall into place. Um, on the flip side, guys, um, uh, basically, if you go to LightPay's uh, website, you can actually kind of get a brief idea of what Litecoin is. Here, their their brief explanation is Litecoin is a digital cash for the internet. So for those of you who are just seeing this and don't understand, um, check out their page. Check out the Litecoins page just as well. This just gives you a brief overview of what Litecoin is and how it is uh, working with, uh, you know, in, uh, internet actually directly so uh, look into this guys but also I want to show you just as well that uh, we have this thing called the flappening and this is a little announcement that let me see here if I can find it it's possible I won't be able to directly um, but more or less uh, this article is coming from inverse.com and Charlie Lee had posted uh, on his page that he didn't see a flippening taking place between you know the Ethereum and the uh, Bitcoin ever happening, but the flappening, which is going to be Litecoin surpassing the capitalization of Bitcoin Cash, is something that Charlie speculates was going to happen this year. So uh, I did find this article really interesting uh, because, again, Charlie Lee is coming out with this kind of prediction that uh, this, again, the flappening, Litecoin's capitalization exceeding Bitcoin Cash's capitalization. Um, he did this before the LightPay launch. So this little graph here kind of gives you a little explanation as to the uh, you know, the current momentum of things taking place here. And of course, uh, if, um, you know, everything does take place as far as, for example, uh, Coinbase announcing that the SegWit is implemented for Litecoin on their site just as well, we're increasing, you know, scalability and speed issues that we might not ever need to worry about now with Litecoin. So, Good things happening in Horizon because now what's the point of having things like Bitcoin Cash when, you know, Lightning and Segway are being implemented for Bitcoin as well. So we really don't need coins like Bitcoin Cash. I'm not trying to fight on that, but I'm just saying for what Bitcoin Cash was worth, um, I think that it's about time for it to give up the ghost and uh, allow these other coins that are predominantly more dominant than them, uh, Bitcoin Cash, to reign supreme now. So um, you can check out to this flappening is actually a site here called flappening.watch I can leave this in the uh, description here but you can more or less watch this in real time change and again this is just more or less part of the prediction that uh, we're going to see Litecoin's market capitalization over uh, surpass Bitcoin Cash it very well could happen and you can also see some of the live transactions taking place to give you a good indication there's a lot of money being moved around um, I've been seeing quite a bit on Coinbase for sure uh, hit BTC and Kraken so check it out guys let me know what you think in the comment section I love hearing from you guys and I apologize for this being long-winded but I want to give you a general idea of what's potentially happening with the light pay um, the card and the light pay network with Litecoin 
Um, but again, let me know what you guys think. If you know of anything that, that I haven't gone over, just uh, put that in the comment section. I would love to hear from you guys. Uh, outside of that, uh, if you like what you see, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button just as well, guys. Thanks for paying attention to this channel here. And thanks for being a part of the channel. Outside of that, have a good night. Bye-bye.